think it's time to set up my book journal. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I shared a couple of videos ago that I wanted to set up a book journal and I was sort of weighing a lot of different options and what I wanted that to look like for me. So I've gathered some, some supplies and some ideas how I got to this point and I wanted to share that with you guys today. So firstly, I wanna say I have been spending some time on Instagram to sort of get some inspiration. I'm gonna kind of plug in a video right here, um, different hashtags that I looked at and how I kind of created a saved folder. There is just so much out there when you look up book journals there's different varying ways to set it up and while it's great to like draw from inspiration at the end of the day you really just have to do what works for you and your reading style and journaling style and how you want to recap what you have read or maybe not read and once again <laughs> if you've watched any of my past few videos you may hear some background noise that is my french bulldog he is a part of this process as well <laughs> So after looking at some inspiration over on Instagram and even on Pinterest, it was kind of time to decide on a size. And I ordered a couple of options and then a couple that I already had that I kind of wanted to be kind of considered for what would be my book journal. Um, and I knew kind of immediately when I ordered this A6 pocket from Loisturm that this was going to be too small. <laughs> um, even though I may not have a lot of thoughts on a book, this space can be quite limiting, especially when my goal is really to spend um, one page per book. This might work for some people, but for me, I think that this is going to really limit the amount of space that I would be able to give like a recap or a review on a book that I've read. Now I've printed out a couple of different options to see how they would fit and that's kind of how I came to this uh, conclusion and I'll go over my printing process here shortly. But you can see like even if you do your typical like two by three um, image, it pretty much swallows the page. Now you could be in the camp of fitting four of those images within that space and that could possibly work. But again, I was like, well, now the book cover is too small and I don't like that. So <laughs> this kind of uh, was immediately off the table for me personally. That could change at any time. Um, then some other options that I already had was an A5, and this is from Archer and Olive. I really do love their journals, and I could see how this could be an option for me um, in the future. So it's not completely off the table, but for right now, it's just not the size that I am gravitating to for a book journal. I also have at one point purchased the, I can't remember if this is B5, B8, I cannot remember the size. It is huge this is a huge journal from archer and olive and i have used it for memory keeping in the past i even have some go wild pages in here that have yet to be completed but i think that this book is going to continue to stay something like this where this is like really huge memory keeping with a lot of you know glued in pieces things like that um, and that's where that's going to stay i had much bigger intentions for this book uh, at the beginning of the year and it just, it just, I couldn't keep up with the size. And so that was the thing that I really had to consider was what is a size of a journal that I can manage and keep up with without getting overwhelmed. And that's how I got to the B6 plus size from Loisturm. This one I actually happened to find at my local Barnes and Noble. I hadn't even really heard of this size until then. And I really liked it because it is truly a size that is obviously smaller than A5, but not that much smaller, so you don't feel like you're losing a lot of real estate, but it is definitely larger <laughs> than the pocket. So it's like right in between there. It's, it's definitely more towards um, A5. So for now, that is what I had decided on. Let me get these other journals out of the way. And I just kind of wanted to share how I came to the point of deciding that this was going to be that one. The next step was that I really wanted to gather the supplies that I knew I would need. Now, I am not trying to make this an overly complicated book, so there wasn't a whole lot. I knew that I was going to need 
my favorite lettering pen so that I could draw out or write out the titles, letter the titles that I want for my books. I knew that I was going to need a photo printer. You guys, if you don't have the Canon IV2, this is one of my favorite photo printers ever. Very close with the Canon Selfie. I have the 1300 version that prints much larger photos and they don't have an adhesive backing on them. So um, I'm going to at some point do a video kind of showing you how they are both so valuable to have, but also both so different. So stay tuned for that. But for the purpose of my book journal, I am going to stick with the Canon IV 2. I had the Canon IV 1. It suffered a very slow death where it just wouldn't hold a charge gradually over the last year, year and a half. And um, early in 2023, I finally just decided it was time. <laughs> it was time to upgrade. So that is what I'll be what what I will be using. I've grabbed some scissors to cut. Um, any sort of printouts that I do and a couple of post-its for some lists that I intend on making. The two lists that I intend on making, like I said, this is not going to be an overly complicated <laughs> setup, is a wish list and a TBR list. Now, I am not part of like book talk, the book, uh, like influencer bubble. I'm just a person who started off 2023 with a very small reading goal, like a book a month. And I couldn't even get to that because life just happened. I moved, we got a puppy, my job changed, like I'm still with the same company, but my role changed. And it was just a lot to keep up with. Well, then came along Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot what it felt like to be so excited to read. And it was just the thing that sort of ignited my... Um, desire to read a little bit more. I'm not that person that can read a book a day or a book a week for that matter. Um, but I thought that this would be fun to continue to keep myself motivated and inspired to keep reading. I also grabbed this stamp set from Amazon. It's just the alphabet stamps. Like everybody and their mom already has these. I'm probably the last person on earth to grab these. Um, and then I grabbed some ink. It's probably the wrong ink. I'm sure someone will let me know <laughs> down in the comments. I know nothing about ink. It says that it was jet black ink and I just needed black ink. So that's what I grabbed. If there's a better ink that I should be using, please let me know. I thought it'd be really fun to sort of use the alphabet stamps. I say fun now. I may not actually like it. <laughs> we'll see. So I obviously there's an index in here. I'm going to leave that as the index. I'm going to leave the title page blank because I'm always like, what do I want to put here? I do have some book washi that I, for the life of me, cannot remember where I got this from. I know it was a smaller shop. If you have seen this washi and know where it's from, let me know. But off the top of my head, I can't remember and the name is not on the inside of the roll. So I'm at a complete loss as to where this came from. So nothing on what would essentially be the title page. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. But I am going to create a TBR list. Everyone say a collective prayer before I begin stamping. <laughs> because I, stamping makes me so nervous, you guys. I think I'm going to stick to capital letters, and I have only used a couple of letters in here, so some of them are still actually kind of stuck together. Okay, so we've got our letters. <laughs> this is so, um, like, how do you stampers do this? How, how do you... Um, not have like a complete breakdown. Anyway, if I make a mistake, that may happen, but you can always just glue the pages together and move on with your life, right? So we're gonna try to keep it straight. Is it going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. I think what I'll do is put my, a book underneath my book because this side is slanting down a little. Maybe that will help me. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Ooh. We did it. That is actually what I wanted. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. How do I clean these off? I did not think this through. Okay, so I don't need these letters again anytime soon. We're gonna set this aside because now I wanna do the same thing for the word wish list, which, ooh, that's gonna be a little complicated. So let's grab all the letters. 
I just realized I'm going to need that letter T. There's not multiples of the letters and wish has two letters from the word list. Ah, again, I am an amateur. All right, let's stamp. Awesome, we've got the word wish down. Ooh, we are, this is great, this is great. I'm not sweating at all. Okay, <laughs> and then the word list. Is there an easier way to do this? I'm sure, I'm sure there is, and I have chosen the most complicated way. Um, and I'm okay with that, I think. I kind of like how they're not like perfectly lined up. It just, it's fun, it's fun, this is fun, this is fine. Okay, list, here we go. That T is going to look like, yep, it went to a party last night. But I'm loving, I love this so much. You're gonna be like, oh my God, this took her like 20 minutes. So I don't really know how long this needs to dry, but I, I love this very, very much. So my TBR list is going to be books that I have that I intend on reading. And I may or may not use the smaller version of these photos for that, but look, that's kind of eating that up. So it may just be an actual list. So. This would just be name of the book and author. I'm gonna let this dry before I write all of that in and let's cover up this ink because I don't think I'm going to use it for the rest of this video. And then the wish list is going to be books that I wanna read but that I don't own. I'm also considering making a Kindle list, like books that I would specifically read on my Kindle for whatever reason. Um, but we're gonna let we're gonna let these dry. So I may actually just throw a post-it note in here for, ooh, that does bleed. Is this why people use the Archer and Olive ink? Oh, okay, I mean, it's not the end of the world, it's fine. Um, but we are going to do a Kindle list here. I mean, I'll let you guys know like in a couple of months if this just completely fell apart because of the bleeding. But again, I don't intend on using the stamps all the time so I mean just to kind of cover it up I guess I could put washi there at some point if I wanted to and then just put Kindle below it I don't know but I also kind of like it that's pretty cool okay so I've got my list set up and then let's talk about printing the photos like your today's video I'm just gonna full transparency not really actually <laughs> put a whole lot in here but Let's talk about printing the photos. Like I said, I'm going to use my Canon Ivy and what I do, one of two ways, right? You can print them this super tiny way, which is like super, super cute and fit for per photo, or you can just take a whole sheet of the printer paper and print your one cover like that. And that for me is probably what I'm going to do. So let me show you what that looks like. So when you're in the Canon IV app, in order to get the four book covers, this is what I personally do. So I just go to collage and then I go to page four of all of the collages. And this one right here on the upper left, I know that's a little hard to see, but this one right there on the upper left is the one that gives me the four book covers um, per sheet that I love. And so all you've gotta do is select your photos, so I'm just using those four as an example. Hit the checkbox. The only one that's not appropriately sized is this Tessa Bailey book. For whatever reason, it just did not want to save to my phone. It's just having technical issues, and now that looks fantastic. I need to actually turn on my photo printer so that it will connect. And so now all four book covers are there. All you've got to do is get out of that, just tap on the white area of the screen, and then hit the printer icon and it's going to start printing. And I honestly think the print quality is pretty good on here for the photos that you are printing. And now we can see it come out, I hope. Sometimes it takes forever, you guys. Sometimes it's like watching paint dry, but it's also really cool. These are inkless thermal printers. I don't understand the technology behind it, but it's pretty darn cute. There you go. Then you end up having four book covers on one sheet. If you don't want to use a book cover per sheet, because you will go through them pretty quickly the way that I'm going to end up doing it. And like I said, the reason why I'm choosing to use the Canon Ivy is because these have a sticky backing to them and then you just have to stick it in place where you want it. And like I said, the other option is to just print 
one book cover per page. And I like the proportion of this for my book journal and that's what's gonna work for me. I could change my mind um, in a couple of weeks or a couple of months and I'm just gonna take this one off. This just makes it so easy, so, so easy. There you have it, there is my first book in here. And then for the rating of the book, I actually have these stickers from Lemon and Honey Studios. I love these, I think, I hope, I'm going to need more than one of these sheets. <laughs> for 2024, but we will see. But I absolutely love these. And what I think I'll do, and you guys can let me know, if, especially those of you who have already created these book journals, do you put like the day you started, the day you finished, and then the rating? I would love to hear any advice or tips that you may have. This will be my first time setting up something like this, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'm just gonna put this first sticker down. I loved this book, loved it. I'm not gonna give anything away but I am super excited about it so I think I'm just gonna put it at the very top the title is pretty easy to see if I was using the smaller um, book covers then I would probably letter out the name but I think I am just going to leave it just like this so it'll just be the book cover and then the star rating there I like how that looks um, right now. But again, these are from Lemon and Honey Studio. I really love their sticker shop. Um, I could have found a stamp and that would have made life really interesting. But I think what I'll actually do is just stick to these because they're very neutral and then grab my favorite Tombow color to ever exist, which is 026. It is a beautiful like yellow color. And that's how I will um, fill in the stars. I'm really excited to see how my book journal journey sort of grows with me throughout the year. My intention is not to fill this up this year. It is It is truly not. I'm just being 100% transparent. This has 218 pages. I have zero intention on reading that many books in 2024, so I expect this book to last me several years. I'm simply not a fast reader, but I want something that's going to help me stay motivated to continue to read and build on the habit of reading more regularly. So whether this book lasts me a year, five years, 10 years, I'm just excited to see where this will go with me. And I will, you know, throw in an update here and there if you guys are interested. When I'm sure that this is done drying, I promise I will stamp in my Kindle list here. I just got a Kindle this past year, so I'm really, really excited to, um, also read more books on there, but I kind of go back and forth. I love physical books, but also love the convenience of the Kindle and the fact that the battery on that thing like never dies. Okay, so there's been a little bit of time from when I filmed my initial setup till now, and I just needed a little bit more time to add some things to the book. Sometimes that can be hard to like capture while you're filming and you've got all these thoughts going through your head. But here are a couple of quick updates um, between when I started and now for my reading journal. I did add this small little decal sticker from Once More With Love. She had a sort of like bookish collection uh, release I think a couple months ago now and um, I've been trying to figure out a good way to use them other than just sticking them on my Kindle. <laughs> um, so I put one on the front, and then in this front here, I added a clear pocket. I think it's from one of my Hobonichi weeks. I just kind of turned it on its side. And this is where I'm going to keep my little star stickers from Lemon and Honey Studio and any like sort of pending like book cover printouts that I have going on there. I actually put my name in here and added another one of the um, Once More With Love stickers here on the front. I haven't done anything else just yet with the index because I don't have that much in here just yet, but I did actually write out the lines for my wish list and my TBR list. I still need to figure out a good ink situation because it's bleeding through quite a bit. I also added an audiobook um, option here because I do love audiobooks. Again, I completely mess up the stamping here, but in a way I kind of really love it. <laughs> um, and again, added a few more once more with love 
um, stickers and since I between the first initial filming of this video and now I have joined a book club in the local area which I'm super excited about so I'm gonna add any of the books that we're reading for the club on this list and I already started with like my fourth wing um, book review and then I'm currently reading The Mistletoe Motive. I actually have a couple of uh, Christmas slash holiday books and these are like the next two that I plan on reading this month so I already put them down in there and that is where we are at. I haven't done anything else in the back but I really like the setup so far. Okay now back to the regular video. All right guys, that was a little look into just getting like the bare bones set up of my book journal. Um, I will definitely share more as I actually start to use it. Hopefully this inspired you in case you were thinking of setting something up but felt a little bit overwhelmed because I'm not gonna lie, when I looked online at how other people had their books set up, we all know comparison is a thief of joy and it almost got me. I was like, I'm not gonna do it because I'm not a like good enough or fast enough reader. And I just decided, you know what, F that. Like, I want to do this for me and, um, again, have that as the encouragement to continue to read. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today going over my reading journal. I can't wait to hear your feedback, advice, and tips down in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.